What's up guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kossal. In this video, I'll be showing you how I edit my raw images in Capture One. When I take pictures with my camera, I make sure I set the camera to raw so that I can get the best detail out of the image. The goal here is to get to edit my images the way I like, at the same time retain all the details and lose not a single bit of quality, at least not much quality. With a good raw processing image software, you'll get great results. My choice is Capture One. I find Capture One very intuitive and I will show you how I create a high-end look all inside Capture One. We're now in our Capture One 12 application. The image looks dark right now because it's still unprocessed raw image. Usually raw images will come flat or just dark. The moment you import your image, Capture One will put a profile on the image based on the camera that was used to take the picture. I shot this with the Nikon D750 and so we have the profile all already dialed in in the ICC profile. This it looks good, except for, for the fact that it's just dark. Let's just take a look at what the normal image would look like straight in the computer. It looks great. The colors, uh, it's a little, the skin tone looks a little too yellow or cyan. And that's not the look we want. Capture One has been able to show the red in the image just the way it was. So first things first, I let me just try a bit of, you could change the profile, the ICC profile settings to your taste, just for a start to see a base color to work with. I like to work with my Nikon D, a 10 generic settings when I want to add more colors to the skin and I would work with that for this image so I will go into layers and work on the exposure brighten up the image a little bit a histogram will be a good guide for me to see how I'm pushing up the levels pushing up the exposure in this image so I'll take the levels up till I can balance the histogram properly. It's getting too bright, but I can walk that down. Exposure looks good here. And we just say, let's take, let me take it up to 1.2829. Then we can, we can get some contrast by pushing the levels up to three between three and five i like i will stay with three it depends on the picture so i'll stay with three here let me get some contrast with the highlights just to help the background open up more and i like to work in layers in capture one so that i can watch what i'm doing and be able to dial in or dial out the settings that i'm applying with a new layer i would a new field layer i would affect the skin color i work on skin color the mask is showing us that everything i do now will be affected by the entire image that's why there's a red mask on it if you want to take out the red mask you could come and click never display mask or hit the M button. We'll call this layer skin, skin tone. We'll go into color editor, skin to select skin tone. Take, click on the picker tool and select an area of the skin. I will get more range, expand the range, and see view the selected color range. The selection looks great, so we can work with this. I'll push the here a little bit. To make it a little more cyan or rather let's make yeah let's make it a little more cyan just a little bit 
the color looks good now i would adjust the color of the dress in a new layer create a new layer a new field layer if you select the, a new empty layer the, the settings won't be applied to the image except you paint the effect into the image for the dress i would call this layer dress and go into the color editor select the advanced with the picker selected i hit the color it's covering a good area there's a bit cast of pink purple in on the skin so we can just pull that away we know that the skin covered the skin tone colors are within the range of red and orange sometimes to yellow but mostly red and orange we'll take it a little bit away from the red and the red in the shot and we have a perfect mask so this looks good let's just take the entire range by hitting the span full saturation range it covers the deepest colors to the brightest colors in your selected area we'll take this lightness down just to darken the image the, the dress only this is affecting just the dress because we have selected only the dress to be to be affected so the dress before and this is the after we could brighten the background now by creating another layer for the background the new field layer we'll call this backdrop I would increase the highlights. Let's work with the levels here. The highlights. I can start using the Luma range too. The Luma range affects only the light and shade, the light and the dark in your images. So you dial in, I hit the Luma range and select the parts where I want the effect, this effect to take place based on luminosity. the backdrop I select my display mask to see it's affecting almost every area of the image but we don't want it to affect the shadows just the highlights so we we'll pull this all the way to the bright and take away our effects our intended effect from the shadows just to get a good mask of the background It's okay if it's not covering the entire area we can just paint out the areas we don't want in our selection so let's just get a good coverage here this bottom part of the slide is to feather your coverage the upper parts just helps you drag to your selection Our background is our focus and let's go with this we we'll apply this now because we've added more highlights to the image in our levels it's affecting even the highlights on her skin but we don't want this effect to touch the skin click on the draw this icon right here that looks like a brush a paintbrush click and hold and click on the erase mask or hit the E key on your computer right click on the image to choose your size your brush size and now we can paint out the effect from the face erase the effect from the face so if you right click on the image you will see an auto mask button this auto mask helps you select properly so when you accidentally go past where you want to cover it will automatically correct this for you the mask looks 
perfect and the effect has been removed from our skin and subject in general so we're just going to see the before and after before and after the dress was bright now it's a little darker and more rich the skin tone it's a subtle adjustment done on the skin so you may not really see because it looks perfect already we might take away some of the colors in the skin tone if we don't want colors it's just easier to just come now and dial out colors from just the skin because now we've selected these things we have our different selections here color editor skin tone under the skin tone layer and we can pull back some saturation if we think it's too much so now the image looks great if this is the look you're going for you could just go ahead and print your image export your image for web or you can take it into photoshop to do the next step let me know in the comments if you want to see how i edit this image in photoshop i want to make the skin dark at the same time not let my shadow areas get too dark i would create a new field layer and this is where the luma range really shines in capture one let's create a layer for the darks And we're creating another layer for the highlights, a new field layer. Let's call that highlights. So first with the darks, we hit the luma range and toggle on our display mask and pull away from the bright areas i want to get a contour on the face this is the area i want to select let's just feather the, let's feather the bright side a little more to cover in more areas here to make it smoothly transition from the dark to the bright i will lift the shadows a bit using the curves we're just lifting it a little just a tad if you feel the settings are too much, you can always pull back your opacity down. Yeah. We'll do the same thing to the highlights. For the highlights, we'll pull it down a bit. Now it's affecting the entire range in the image. But you only want to affect the highlighted areas. So with this pull down, I will go into the layers and hit the luma range and select the range the effect is already dialed in so i could just toggle it till i like what it's giving me i'll take it away the effect away from the shadows and feather a bit to have a smoother transition section of capture one we 
can see the paintbrush turn on. This means that the tool works on layers. So to gain back highlights, I can pull back some dynamic range here. I will come to the highlights and open up dynamic range and pull my highlights. Now I have, I have recovered most of the highlights on the skin without affecting the highlights in the background. This is the before and this is the after. Before and the after. This is our final image in Capture One. Show some support to this channel by hitting the thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you would like me to create for you. And remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in another video. Peace.